Okay, it's raining pretty hard here, um, and I've got two gutters that are emptying out to my mini swale. There's one here capturing part of the roof, and then there's another one in the other corner of the house, and they're all being channeled uh, from PVC right to that corner. You see where the PVC spits out? Um, and I've dug in a little bit. Usually the water would flow right down like the water in the road is, and flow right down the lawn. But I've channeled it into this on-contour strip um, in the back of uh, my front yard garden here with some edible plants and you can see the water forming a little mini stream and it reaches all the way there's a fig tree right there that it's watering um, it's got a aronia some service berry peppermint strawberries uh, lots of different plants uh, use that water and the water gets soaked in right behind the uh, front garden bed and if it fills up a little bit too much uh, past maybe two to three inches um, it actually overflows and ends up uh, emptying out right where it was going to go anyway. So uh, I've captured, you know, probably uh, well, 50 gallons here maybe. Um, I might be over overestimating that, might be less. Um, but when it really fills up, there's quite a lot of water that gets soaked in. So it's an easy way to uh, irrigate passively your front yard garden. Oh, one more uh, tip here on a word of warning. Um, my front lawn kind of slopes away from the house couple degrees and that's just enough to make sure that the water that's getting uh, infiltrated here doesn't end up getting infiltrated close to the house because it is downhill um, there is probably some water accumulation uh, that increases a little bit by the house from this method but I don't think it's very much to harm the foundation uh, but if your lawn was sloping the opposite direction towards the house it probably would not be a good idea to have a setup like this